Okay, welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. I'm here in uh, Kumo Space. Um, there are several people here already and uh, ready to go. Uh, oh, wait, no, and I'm welcoming people. Hi, Ramon. These are all teachers, Paul? No particular. Good. So I'm here um, trying to figure out. So I'm, I'm welcoming people, orienting, but you don't need that. Uh, so people are, have gathered up by the piano. So you can go up there and say hello. Yeah, cool. Yes, and or administrators, but yes. From all over the country, um, a lot of us are um, all grade levels, mainly secondary. Um, and mainly from the National Writing Project. Yay, Christina, we can hear you. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, oh, I see your mic at least. Okay. Sam. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's happening? Hey. Okay. Hey, Chris. I'm good. I'm here welcoming people. Um, I don't know what mythological character that makes me, but. <laughs> the um, people are uh, quite a few people have arrived in the by the piano. A um, couple quick orientations: uh, the arrow buttons let you move around. The uh, plus and minus let you zoom in and out a little bit, and the map kind of shows you the whole room down there at the bottom. And I'm going to make you a co-host. Um, if you want to yell at everybody, then you'll be able to do that. But people are up by the piano. You want to go up and say hello there? Okay. Map. So if you... Yeah. And then you can find where to go. Hey, Sam. Good. Chris... Why, walk with Christina up to the piano. So the way you walk is is using the arrow buttons on your computer. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right. So that's how we've uh, been welcoming people. Let me go up. Um, the unfortunate thing here is that you will only get on this recording what um, I <laughs> um, am seeing, so it's sort of my camera, um, and only you. So, so I just quickly clarify, everyone now is host, so you made everyone co-host, that's why we have these artists now. We now all have the ability at the bottom of the screen to toggle on or off our own individual megaphones. Um, and what megaphone will do is it'll flatten the spatial audio of the space, so you will speak to everyone at the same time at the same volume. Um, there are three modes, there's quiet, normal, and megaphone. I would just wait and use some of those, honestly. Uh, it's a sort of a nuanced space. Really, quiet mode is good if you're in just the English in the room. Um, for example, this room is rather tight, tightly together, so if you are in a structuring event such that you want to build their own furniture, quiet mode can help uh, create more distinct conversations. Otherwise, just making one host now, you're going to by turning on off their own iPhone. Hey Paul, you could you could move to the edge now because you're on microphone and that would be more room in the middle. <laughs> so, hello everybody. I just wanted to let you know that we are recording. Um, and the weird thing is that um, I, I you, you will, will only be recording where I am. So that maybe is a good thing, <laughs> but. But, uh, and I heard somebody come in down there. Please keep talking and I'll be back. Totally, yeah, and I'll start by saying, you know, Ramon is a true expert here in, in this context. I mean, Ramon is an educator. Um, uh, you know, he's a professor. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, Moby MBA, so really all I do is talk about stuff, but I certainly talk about things. Um, so the idea here is that you uh, want a solution for uh, the sort of values of uh, better capitalists, and given during these events, uh, which is the basis of your you know, network capital inventor is huge, and, and that sort of, you know, bottomed out, you know, no one wants to show these things on soon. So he had this very, very talented engineering friend of his who's been working on it before um, on, on the company. Yeah, and, Sam, uh, sort of Sam do you have the earbuds to throw on or not? 
it won't matter too much. Okay. Okay. No more. Cool. So, um, yeah, I haven't figured out how to make sure we don't miss anybody who comes into the room. Um, so if anybody else sees anybody come in, let me know and I'll. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to use the next probably the next one and a half. We'll change the pocket so you'll be last. Yeah, there you go. You'll be able to know that's the kind of thing. Yeah, there you go. Get a little closer. Hi. Um, so I I want to introduce Max and um, Ramon. And um, they have a lot more experience here than I do. And so the first part of this will be just sort of getting to know what this space is about. If you don't hear me right now, um, come a little closer. And to Max and Ramon, and I'm going to give you guys the first, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll megaphone. Here. There we go, I just megaphoned, didn't I? Okay, can everyone hear us now? Okay, so I'm on megaphone now. So there are three settings, right? There's megaphone, there is quiet, and there is regular. And uh, we are on megaphone now, so everybody in the room can hear us. Oh. So if you were to break your own space, you have the option of choosing a theme for your space. And one of those options is classroom. And what it is is it has rows of desks. And what I requested was that each, each station on each desk be number 1 through 24. So that way, if a student tells me they have a question, uh, the idea was they could tell me that I'm at station 12 and I could go straight to station 12. But what I realized was that the only way they could tell me that was if they also were co-hosts so they could use a microphone because I could be on one side of the room and they could be on the other side of the room. And I would have to make all the co-hosts so that I can turn on the microphone and say, uh, Ramon, I need help over here. Then I go over there. But I realized that that's a little bit uh, harder to manage making everybody into a host because sometimes they forget to turn off their microphone and they're talking to their friend next to them and everybody's hearing the conversation. Right? And even uh, even what I realized, I'm not sure what everybody here teaches, but uh, for the classification semester is, is web coding. And so what I've done since the last semester is I pre record all my lessons and I show them how to do the coding. And what happens is they just watch the videos individually, pausing and rewinding when they don't understand something. And what I realized was that my old style of talking throughout the course of the class time does not work because they're listening to me on a video. Yeah. They're having to listen to me walking around the room telling my little anecdotes. So I have to stop talking while they're working in class because they're actually watching a video of the lesson individually on their own. So to off the platform, yes. Uh, the videos are saved in a in a Dropbox and they access all the videos in Dropbox. Whatever. Um, but this addressed the problem of them needing help. I had a question. They said, no, I'm going to sit at my station, my teacher's station. Mm -hmm. And if anybody has a question, just come to me. Uh-oh, we're going chair. off. Just, Should rather we follow Rather than turn, turn on the microphone and make them call. <laughs> I sit on my phone and they have a question, they come to me. Oh, Ramon got a drink. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic, feel free to do that. There is a bar here. Um, it's over there. You can pick up. That's right. Everybody else can either can either watch it or don't hear it because I'm not everybody. But basically, everybody's busy on their own browser, Windows tabs, doing programming or watching video. That's okay. If I share my screen with that student. You don't have to share it for the rest of the class. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. So, Max, why don't you do a little more introduction of yourself and Ramon, and uh, you're our first guest here tonight. And then we do want to, we do actually want to try to use the space and see what it feels like, just to to broadcast this right now. Um, see what it feels like. Sam is going to be doing some curriculum work. Karen's doing curriculum work around poetry, for example. Paul, Hank. anyway, people might want to kind of. I've invited people to come and talk about what they are planning to do. Um, and so we want to kind of see how birds of a feather, if you know that word, works in this space. Like um, people will announce, you know, what they want to talk about and you'll go meet with them and have a conversation with them at some point. But first we want to hear about the space, why the space, who you guys are, what you're up to. Max, do you want to take that off? <laughs> This is immediate. I'm over in the corner. It was close to uh, Christine over here. Oh, no. I'll take the megaphone off. I'll take the megaphone off and uh, maybe I should check it a little. Uh, have you talked to just one other person? I missed the first part. I'm sorry. I was running late. Okay. Jack, come over here with me. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have a, so I don't know if I should talk on the microphone or not. Yeah, but once I just start their conversation. I have a talk. Yeah, talk. And I just want to talk. Can we, can we have a private conversation over here if I'm on talk? 
So sometimes I just on my phone. I just want to actually trying to have a conversation. I realize yes, it's a little bit disruptive. Um, so this is the utility of digital rooms on some level. Um, and also what we're using now for what we're using right now, sort of this, like go to circle kind of sound off process. Like it's great for sort of like stand-up style team meetings or or brainstorming. We're doing right now. Right now, I'll have silence. Triangle on. Nobody else can hear me. Bye bye. We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I think there's a little confusion if how to put megaphone on or off. So yeah. if I click on megaphone, I can see there's a megaphone icon next to my head. And but it says talk, the button says talk. So it makes me think that I'm gonna talk rather than megaphone. But I think right now I'm on megaphone, right? Look at your little icon button. That's a, bit, that's a good piece of feedback, but you can tell uh, star changes to, uh, to a megaphone when you're on iPhone mode. Oh. Got it. Okay, um, so um for um, so I'm desperate as a um, high school teacher for um, some way to get my kids talking. Um, they don't have their um, cameras on, and they're super polite. And all the things I uh, um, who have never been in the building and don't know what each other look like. It's amazing. Um, that makes me horrible. Um, uh, however, they're learning. I know they're learning, and um, we know the sound of each other's voices. But they are accessible um, if you. Um, like I am discovering many ways that, they, that I can access them. Um, however, how do you get to have conversations? So I'm desperate. Zoom is too orthogonal and too polite. I got it. So this, I was really excited, but I think in some ways possibly overexcited because I can't start this tomorrow. Like I would to. Um, a, because it needs to run on computers. Uh, I mean, on um, iPads as well as computers in the city of New York. Um, the come up, the, the, come up to the is piano. Is, um, lending uh, iPads um, to students who need. And the students who need are often students um, who need a lot of resources. So if Kumo space, if we want for Kumo space to be able to serve, but, um, with equity, then we need uh, it to be able to serve um, work on iPad um, or the um, as Paul um, Allison pointed out, or the department that <laughs> needs to issue proper computers. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. The um, income equity um, is. Energy. Okay. I mean, you know, what I would say is... is we can say, little, say a little more about yourself um, first, Ramon. What, 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 what do you do? What do you love to do? I mean, I've... So, yeah, I mean, the most helpful thing uh, of this sort of thing, let me give all of you my email address. Um, so I'm going to do current room, and it's Maxwell. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Um, and, and like, if there are ideas and things that you want to... Like, we, we love this, right? Like, we... You know, we like, we are thinking a lot about how to build a platform and who to build it for and, and how to make this as it can be uh, in an iterative sense. And so, like, yeah, if like, suggestions are super welcome, um, and you know, please, okay, sweet, you're listening. <laughs> I, I will listen. <laughs> what about, oh, okay, um, I have another, well, uh, I don't know, I have another uh, small question. The, uh, just, um, so that um, kids can not be all on top of each other, but, um, but they can be in a smaller space like they are. Is there a snap to um, possibility, possibility of snap to, so where they get closer to chair and they are snapped to it? No, no, they would. I know what you're talking about. We just discussed a lot. The idea that you basically designate seating spaces. Um, so it's an organization. Well, just, just to clarify, the, the idea that you're talking about is like you designate seating spaces that when someone comes to a conversation, snap into the conversation, and the camera angle changes. Is that what you're saying? I uh, know. I'm talking about um, just so their um, just so their images don't uh, obscure each other and their names, so they don't obscure. Oh, we just went out. Trust me, I'm just gonna hold that. To address Trent's point of getting the to um, show the cameras and talk, I would suggest that if you can come on space, that you assign group projects with the first in to interact with each other because they will show their cameras when they're talking to their friends. But they won't show their cameras for the teacher. And just get them to the habit of having their cameras on and talking to the friends and the advantage of common space that you can walk around on different groups and they're not gonna turn off the cameras when you walk by. So but it doesn't address the technology issue where some kids might have, you know, um, less technology than others. So, so that's you know sure how to address that. Okay, so go back to the quad. I don't even, I'm not quite sure who I'm talking to. Um, now I'm talking to everybody. Um, so if um, I want to assign people to groups and I want people to self-select, but I only want, let's say, six people in a group. So the notion that um, you've got six chairs and, and once they're full, they're full, you have to go to another um, space. Is that what you meant by snap? No. Okay. Oh. No, no, actually, it's, it's just, um, it's sort of a more nitpicky than that. It's just that here we are all together and we make it so that um, we are not on top of each other. If I want if if we want to assign people to groups or not assign people to groups, so we don't want to take people in a group, um do we just have to sort of make sure that, that happens ourselves or is there some way that these chairs actually have someone? You know, you can only be in as you know, only be in the group if there are enough chairs for you, right? Well, right now, um, the room is on five. We're working hard to increase that because we understand that most classrooms are usually closer to 27, 28. But well, no, but uh, as far as that, so I can address both Karen's and Nikki's uh Nikki's um I guess questions. 
Um, they, you, if you, um, you're, if you're using a classroom in room, every station is numbered and the chairs are spaced out. So as long as a, a student is sitting in a chair, they're far enough away from the next person that you don't have to worry about people clustering together. Uh, there are four tables, six chairs to a table, three on one side, three on another, and they're spaced out enough so that, you know, so they're not cutting right against each other. Uh, but then not only are these, each station is numbered one through 24, which can help you in, in creating groups. So you can say Off everybody who is an odd number, the you know, videos or one through three or whatever, you know, you can do that way too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can I, one of the things I'm thinking is like the, the physicality of the space. So you know, like, I'm, I have to compare to Zoom because that's what we're using. And in Zoom, you know, like in breakout rooms. And, but I remember pre-Zoom classrooms where when I would say get into groups, there was a lot more flexibility with the kids choosing. And I know Zoom now has the ability, if you have the latest version, it has the ability to, you know, choose your group. But still, it, this strikes me more like uh, what used to happen in a classroom where I would say get together with, I don't know, two or three or four other people. Um, and so I don't know if, if it seems like the physicality makes a difference, right? Yeah. I mean, that's my observation. I don't know. Ramon, there will be more time for you to go into more detail. Um, I want to try to make this more interactive at this point. No, no, don't be sorry. I'm just, I'm just interrupting because I do. Uh, okay. But um, so here's the deal. Um, does everyone understand that they're down at the bottom, you're all co-hosts. So if you want to say something to everybody, you hit the megaphone at the bottom, and and you can then you're then talking to everybody. If you want to have a private conversation, which I think Janet and Paul have been doing, um, which is fine, um, you turn, I, I, I have this right, right? You go back and hit talk at the bottom, and then you can go off and have your own kind of private conversation. Is that close? Is that detail correct? I can, yes. And then if you turn off, uh, yeah. Okay, Karen, I want to come talk with you about what you're doing oh, because um, okay. we're doing a lot of voices. Actually no, no, that's fine. Yeah, if you were, that's fine. No, no, that's cool. So, so voices. So, so figure out the megaphone at the bottom. Here's, I just want to throw out a quick question and see what kind of um, response. Um, in the chat already, people have been popping with ideas. What kinds, what, First ideas do you have about how you might use this with kids? And if you want to, if you want to, why don't we say if you want to talk to the the whole group at this point, turn your megaphone on and do that. And let's see what happens. Yeah, go for it, Sam. By the way, where where are you, Sam? Um, Paul, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I thought Sam Reed was over here, but uh, he's moving around real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm just. Okay. Good point. Who... Okay. Who who other quick thoughts? Idea in L R N D um uh and. The kids are, um... No, no, it's fine. So you turn your megaphone off, and then you go far away from everybody else, and you just talk to that person. So as you move away, you'll you'll um, you won't hear that person anymore. Except if, except if their megaphone is on, then you will. Okay. Let's keep playing. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
same mentality, you shouldn't do all that. That should be something that's the students move instead of technology always doing something for you. I think uh, it's kind of a flashpoint and kind of uh, get away from the humanity of this thing. You know, I'm, I'm very much. It might. Blue, but go ahead, Karen. New York Times used yeah. writing yeah. and um, there's some great images there that might be cool for the kids to see. And there was, I think, there was an article and I was trying to find it in the video this week. I've been doing that. I know I did this two years ago at home. Like, it's just like, I mean, it wasn't the most successful because I didn't crash. I got exactly what I asked for. <laughs> so they, yeah, I, I got lost in my computer. I came back in, so I'm going back over to uh, everybody else. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Had any experience, you know, with how groups function in terms of noise? It sure is nice, the thought that you can all be in the same space, the teacher can move around, but kids aren't interrupted by other kids' conversation. Is that is that really the case? No, we can hear you. Seems that way, and, um, so, yeah. So yeah, let me let me try to impose a little bit of order well, here. Really unless you would agree. Sorry. But so so could everyone come back over by the piano for a second and hear a few more sort of pop questions and then we'll announce we'll announce everyone turn your megaphone off and go have private conversations. All right. But let's leave let's let's do let's do megaphone first. Okay, sorry. What, Christina? Okay. I kind of like the idea of having some breadcrumbs left behind for the next person, right. especially if I loop with the students or doing book nature. Here's what the here's what they're doing in last year. Something that finally you copy and paste into the comment. You can use white space between stands or you have white space between every single line, and then you don't have the stands breaks. You are on the microphone. And, put in the and chat if you hit, you, yeah. And Janet, how do you play that? So I just want to make sure you guys saw that, and that's all I wanted to give you a about. If we're uploading. <laughs> right. And then. Okay, good. Go ahead, Karen. Karen, how do you envision introducing this with kids? What do you think, then? Um, uh, hey, I don't know. What do you think of your screen? Does it make it everybody's on the screen? Does that change? Yeah. What happens to the right side of the screen, uh, first into a presentation window, and the left side of the screen is us moving around in the space still. Here, you want to share your phone? I don't see. Are you, is it all? I don't want to. That's something you could. So, Janet, you're saying when I, how do I envision introducing this to kids? Yeah. You're talking about this in Kumo space? And they're, yeah. they're ninth Kumo graders who have Kumo never space. been in like there. Using Kumo space in a row. Very right. rarely. But like, mm -hmm. um, like Sam, I, Sam was saying um, he would introduce it in his advisory or his jazz club first, like a smaller, mm -hmm. less formal uh, mm -hmm. setting. So, I would first introduce it in advisory, I think, um, to play, to figure out, to um, sort of uh, gather um, uh, comments from kids on how it works. But um, how I. That's cool. Oh, no, that's cool. So in, in Zoom, um, you can name the breakout room. So this breakout room will be about Walter D. Myers' monster. This breakout room would be about Gloria Hulse Anderson's speak. Um, and they can self-select their groups now as of like December with Zoom's new feature. However, um, the thing that I can't figure out how to do is um, have them just self-select and be with um, friends. Because uh, it's too um, awkward to put the names of, like, of certain kids and then everyone. Uh, if, so anyway, here, they see who's where and they can go join them in Google space. That's great. Paul, can you see what you just said, then? So, I'm. I know, Max. I know it's on. It's on your list. I just wanted to get. I want to encourage Karen and anybody else who has other thoughts. You know, maybe you'll give Max one more reason to go into that meeting and say, "Hey, we really have to up this on the on the priority list." I just is that enough said about that, or do you want to say anything back to it? Put your megaphone on, please. There you go. Okay. 
<laughs> either teaching um, uh, web development or marketing strategies or comic books. Cool. Yeah, so she's all over the place. She did. Uh, well, I mean, she's a photographer in UML, so I think that's sort of what she did there. Yeah, we've got, that's in the we've chat. Got a department, so. Cool. Okay. Oh, I teach, I teach uh, media production and photography and English, like AP English. Where? In Utah. In Utah, okay. Everybody. That's where I'm hanging by the door. <laughs> It was just me. Okay. Can that jukebox work? Yeah. Circle time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you. you can have one more. Go ahead. So then they'll make it right behind the paywall you have to pay a quarter to do your song. <laughs> I was thinking about right like like supporting writing through that like conferring or like being able to sit together. But it'd be nice if you could share something in a small group too and not share with the whole group, you know. I would that if you could choose. If I share my screen with a small group, not everybody sees it. Correct. Currently when you share a screen, everybody in the room sees it. Yeah. You have to figure out how to share with just a small group. I would say right in a separate room and that would then they could just share could be one room. So then, then, then they room. can't move. Right, so then you just go to your own group. They can just go there fast. Nope. Um, no, outside of the room, so, um, like this, um, these spaces, uh, I don't know, teachers, this TTT space, um, uh, Paul, you sold to the four rooms. Um, on the outside, they just give the um, number of people in each room. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way to list the names, actually, of who's in the rooms. So that then uh, people could select which based on who's in it. I... Yeah, I, th I I tend to agree, Karen. Let's let's keep trying. Let's keep playing. I think it's okay. But yeah, but I don't know for sure. But yeah. Um, other quick thoughts about about the platform, about where we are, about possibilities. <laughs> With the fact that if you share your screen, that's everybody. In other words, you can't just share your screen with an individual group. And the other question is, can you... Okay, okay. Um, what about recording? Can you record these like you can a Zoom meet? Okay. Okay. Do we know if the megaphone works in different rooms? Like, can I be in this room and uh, talk to people in all rooms, or is it... Um, currently, it's only in this room. However, um, we just added something to the chat uh, yesterday. If, um, let me see if it works. I'll test it out. So, sit. Let me know if you got this chat. Hi. 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 So, hey, um, what are you it looks like Nikki nearby. is part of the Nikki, do you want to talk to the or? whole group or, or, or do you want to keep it quiet? Let me ask everybody. Everybody in the uh, chat has to be able to say hi. Um, did some of you guys not get the chat? You're good. You're right. talking to us. Okay. Oh, that works. You, said you, made the... you are. Right, hold on. So if you go to your chat, and you will just send to the bottom, just drop down menu, and you can send to all the rooms, the current room, or just people nearby. See that? At the very top of the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that going to be nearby in your range or no? Or is that yeah, nearby? it's going to be in your, in your range. So in theory, you could send people a link to like another app okay, so or no, another no, website no. or video, and people within your range get, get so, Paul, Allison, as the person who originated this, I think she um, just means, uh, yeah, correct I mean, me, I, yeah, I think she just means if, if I meet you at the yeah, entrance and say, the chat, right, go up the piano, piano, you can just go up and click the piano and you fly there, right? Is that what you mean? So, if I were to send a match, that's not somebody else. Okay. 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 Is there a way to save the chat? You just move move your cursor. <laughs> I yeah. 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 That ability only, only lost the co hosts. Yeah, because some kids in the classroom are distracted by a lot of noise. Some kids can block it out. So it seems. Right, if you gather together, 
It just seems like if, you get, if you're distracted, then you go somewhere else, right? For no way. Yeah. Yeah, I I the megaphone's the most distracting thing. Yeah, I would really discourage people from making students co hosts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably not go well. Yeah. Well, it depends. That's not true. I have some kids who'd be amazing. Well, let's just talk about small groups, though. Right. But, but if they yeah, talk to you, if they have a question, they just walk to you. Yeah, but they make talk to each other. Well, they always have that option. Sure. I think that's how I would introduce this. It would be in a very social way. So I'm thinking, you know, like my writing club that's very small, um, or my advisory group to get them talking. I mean, I see this as a way to introduce casual conversation in a digital world. And I'm hoping that more of my kids would turn their cameras on in this situation. It would be interesting for me to see. I don't know instructionally how this would work for a while, um, only because I wouldn't know what's happening in all those different conversations. I don't know what's happening in breakout rooms. So it's different. So I faster actually bringing move maneuver around. But I really see the social emotional implications of this are great. And the idea of just bringing kids together and doing some kind of virtual movement. Um, Paul's been kind of referring to that. I think this one because the just a difference between the struggle that we have with the black screen and with the lack of interaction. Where I feel like this. I know it would be fun for them at first, they'd be messed around. If I could have more social engagement for kids to introduce this, I think it would be really powerful. I would really suggest um, group projects. We're going to have to break down the teams. Mm -hmm. you know, and if they can self-select or group parameters on how to buy the teams, even better because the person's going to work out the problem of okay. breaking down the group. And everybody, everybody understands that you cannot create your own list because you guys have accounts with most space. Right? So if you click on, when you leave the room by exit, you can click on profile. And read the space. I don't know what to call this room, but you it click feels like a good problem to me. And you can choose whatever team you want. In that, cool. it feels like a problem okay. that the students and you could work out. My and And that that working out process well, is, is a really good thing to the very bottom of the room, you'll see the edit button. Um, and when you leave, when you leave the exit, it gives you can also hold space. Yeah, jump in, Chris. I have one more bottle before I decide to kill me. Killing me, buddy. How do we get out? Mm -hmm. But then, how do we get out? <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay. What do I do? You click on the little tab. I want to try it. I want to try that. Yeah. I have a proposal in a second, but for trying that. But yeah. A anything else before I? I want. Let's 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 try to go. Let's try to turn off the megaphones for a second. After, after, leave them on for a minute, sorry. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. Sam Reed is, is starting a novel on, um, on Now Comment. And Paul Hankins has been teaching a novel on Now Comment. And I'd love for the two of you to get together and talk about that. Dan Dorenberg, who, who invented Now Comment, is here. Here's what I'm kind of imagining. I'm imagining that he might stop by and, and like eavesdrop on their conversation and then have a suggestion or something to say. Kieran is starting a poetry class, right? This, this I happen to know. So if anybody wants to kind of find out what she's doing in that poetry class, that happens to be on now comment also. Um, Janet, uh, so who else would like to, Kevin, do you want to yell out? Well, introduce yourself to this group. You're kind of new to us, but put the megaphone on and then ch just tell us what you're working on and Janet, tell us what you're working on. And then let's see if we can find each other and and have some conversations. We'll put a time limit on it. We'll come back together and see how that went. Okay. Does that sound okay to do? Let's try it. Thanks, Max. I'll send you a recording too. So great. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Hey. Yep. So notice how he has to walk out. I like that. <laughs> At first I thought, couldn't they just make an exit thing? But I, there's something good about having to walk out, right? Anyway, Kevin, do you want to introduce yourself briefly? And then yeah. <laughs> I 
and we're going to have a chance to talk about that in a couple of weeks as well. I've scheduled Kevin to come in and talk. As, so very cool. Um, Janet, you want to talk about where you're starting the semester? Yes. Karen. And, and Chris, your kids are doing their thing where they're finding articles about issues that are important to them, questions, and putting them on now comment. Hmm. All right. Um. Cool. Uh, let's let's just uh, uh that's not complete at all, but. <laughs> Let's let's just uh, let's go around and, and find each other. And um, a key to this is that you know how to turn the map on and see where people are um, by their initials, um, and then you can move around. So let's let's have some conversations until it is now nine thirty eight. Let's give this let's give this t ten minutes till nine fifty. Okay, that's Eastern time. Sorry. <laughs> 9.50 Eastern, uh, you figure it out in your time zone. Um, I'm going to turn your megaphones off. Um, yeah, I would say avoid. Yeah, I, I don't know. You, you can you can share a screen if you want, but we'll all see it just to know that. I'm going to turn my megaphone off. Nikki, your megaphone is still on. You want to turn that off by clicking down at the bottom where, yep, perfect. Okay. I'll go, I'll go, t I'll go tell them you want to talk to them. Hey, Sam. Okay, he's out for now. It was actually a whole team of people from National Writing Project people from all over the United States. But go ahead. <laughs> I don't want the credit. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Hey, Ramon. I didn't want to cut you off there. Was that cool? Did you have more you want to share at some point?
Hey Sam, are you good? All right. Okay, cool. Sam, make sure, make sure. Oh. No, no, come on, come on up. I just want to make sure that you bring up the question of. Yep, the poetry group is is meeting and talking. So yep, yep, yeah. And and if you get bored of this one, Nikki, you could leave it and come back. So the um, quick, I, I want to get to a quick content question. One of the issues that Sam, Sam and I talked about is um, just before we came on is he's, he's reading Born a Crime with his students and a bunch of my students and some others um, have already commented in there. Is that like, should he turn those comments off or is it okay to have them on? Is that a, a fair way to ask the question? So. You can also you can also send it to me and I'll fix it, but <laughs> but yeah, thanks, Dan. <laughs> Kevin, you cool? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So, it's a split split screen. Karen, could I push that a little further? I, I, I would also love for them to, when the other students come, be the guides in the space, right? So if you could set them up at different tables and say, 
go see what he's saying and you know he wants to talk i mean can you imagine book talks happening in different areas of the room right that would be interesting yeah mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you you said it just clearly. That's fine. Um, figuring out how to use the different rooms is another possibility to to be thinking about as well. Um, but yeah. No, I so uh, let's just I'm imagining um, a let's just keep it with us. Uh, so if we started doing TTT in this space, it would change the way I plan, right? It wouldn't be like, oh, I'm inviting these two guests. I have to think about three questions to ask them. It would be more like up by the piano, Ramon's going to be talking about his this, and Janet's going to be talking about that down there. And, you know, let's leave our megaphones on for a second to, to greet each other, but then let's go off and have our, our different sessions together and then come back together. And sorry if I'm going too fast on this, but there's, 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 I'm imagining there's like a two side thing happening. Like if Chris Sloan can talk about how he's using now comment now, and then, um, Dan Dorenberg come over and say, Hey, have you considered this possibility? And then Dan move over to the poetry group. There's, there's something kind of that cross pollination. And and two sidedness of conversations can can open up a little bit. Uh oh. Okay, I got kicked out somehow. Am I still here? I am still here. Okay. But I can't move it.
So I got kicked out. I don't know. Or my computer froze. Everybody did. Okay, good to know. So we all broke. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. No, it wasn't just you. <laughs> all right, so we're coming back, and I hope the others come back too. Um, let's uh, let's meet up at. Um, sorry, put my megaphone on. Uh, let's go to megaphone and uh, let's let's meet on the rainbow colored circle in the upper right hand corner. Hey Paul, we're chasing you. It doesn't work. No, I tried it. But but the idea the idea of putting these Easter eggs in, I mean I don't know what they're the eggs of some sort, right? The idea of, of yeah, the idea of like go watch this video at this table and then come back and, and, and write about it, um is like immediately very appealing to me, I think. Um, okay, I'm sure that'll happen. <laughs> yeah. um, so what do you, but you can do that, right? You can go off with a small group and and share in that with that group. Oh no, that is a problem. Yeah, that's an issue. That's an issue. Yep. So by the way, um, you want to put the megaphone on, and I'm I'm remaking you co-hosts, so you can do that. And if I didn't get to you, it was a mistake. There you go. You can turn the megaphone on, so you can talk to everybody at this point. Um, but we're gathering around the the rainbow-colored circles. Okay, go ahead, Karen. Yeah. I'll pass that along. Um So one of the thoughts, and I um, also, is that there is a kumospace.com slash youth voices um, that exists. Anybody could jump in there anytime they wanted to. Paul's students could say, hey, we want to meet up with Janet's students. Um, let's go in kumospace and, and have a conversation, right? Um, in the, when they are logged in, in the drop down menu under their name, there's a link to the Youth Voices Meetup, and that takes you to a Kuma Space Youth Voices. Um, that's kind of too easy to do, almost. We'll see if there's a problem with that, but right now, that's that's a real possibility. You you would just have to plan to be there at the same time, right? Um, so that's another idea to mess with. Any f other ideas? Um, yeah. Karen, Karen brought that up. Yep, I'm going to pass, or somebody did. I think Christina did. Yeah, we're going to pass that question along. The one solution, right? The one solution right now is you can exit this room and go into a different room in the same URL, and then you can share different screens. So you could, yeah. No, I'm recording right now using screen share. Um, using a screencast 
homatic. Yeah. Ramon, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's only in this room then. Say I. I. Cool. No, I think only people nearby got it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So how do you do that, Romo? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christina is testing that. Hi, this is Christina. I'm I'm in the room next door. Can you see? Yeah, Christina sent it to everybody. So, but. So you can send to all rooms or to current room, right? Okay, yeah. I'm going to call time here in a second, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, well. Thanks for pointing that out. By the way, um, I want, as a teacher, I want to be able to direct, like, we were overhearing. Am I on megaphone? Yeah, I am. So we were overhearing um, uh, Janet's conversation a little bit. I was. Um, and I wanted to drag her away. <laughs> so that may, maybe that maybe if we could do that, like you can move a kid around a little bit. <laughs> huh? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do that, yes. If you're co-host, yeah. Yeah. Well, unless, yeah, unless they're, that, that's a way to make them a leader in the room, right? So,
All right, we're going to keep playing with this next week, if uh, you don't mind. And um, we'll kind of, I'm going to, yeah, go ahead. It is really hard, but so I just want to say thank you to everyone and thank you, Ramon. And um, but just just to say, it is really hard to figure out by yourself. <laughs> so 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 thank you all for doing this, and let's do this. Let's do this at least next week. So so here's the. Bye. Okay. <laughs>